Hey girls, today I'm going to be reviewing and showing you how to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Dip Pomade. This is one of my favourite products. I use this quite often. Mainly when I'm going out, I use generally a powder for just during the day. Um, this colour is medium brown. Now I found over the winter months, and even if I don't use it for a while, it's kind of... I think it's got some kind of wax in it and it kind of goes a little bit hard, so it's a little bit hard to use. So I had come across this tip of using a hairdryer just to heat the product up. Give that a go. And it generally works quite well. I've got for a brush, I've got the Anastasia number 12 brush. For this product, I don't really enjoy using this brush. Um, I still use the spoolie though. The one I have been using is the Sigma Small Angle E65. So I'm really, really liking this for the pomade at the moment. So all you need to do is literally just, I swipe mine back and forth in the product and then take off the excess. That's generally when I find that it's gone a little bit hard. So I warm it up. I just do small strokes. You don't want to use too much with this stuff because when you try and blend it out, it will go down the side of your face. So I've only dipped that in once and I've still got a little bit of product on the brush. So try and use the least amount as you can. I'm going to use my finger and sometimes if I'm going out I'll use concealer just to really highlight the brow bone. Go back and make sure that line's nice and straight. And then same with the other side, you literally just dip back and forth, wipe the excess product off. And this one here, I've got a gap in here, so sometimes I can fill it in with the pomade and it's enough, but other times if I want more of a heavier look, I use um, generally some kind of pencil. I only ever use pencil in here. I never use pencil over the whole brow because it just looks too fake and too caked on. So I start from just back here. I draw that line. And I really try and fill that in first. Sometimes if you get enough in there, you don't need to use pencil. Just gotta be real careful when you're blending it. You don't wanna to take too much out. So I've got too much product, so wipe the sides off. Make sure there's nothing on the brush. And just sort of swipe through, feather it out. And then I do little strokes in here. Sort of create that star of the brow. The best thing with a spoolie, if you do ever put too much product on like I have with this one, you can just pretty much brush it out and it's fine. The starts, I usually use just the tip and then just straight up. You really want to give it sort of a faded look at the start. I 
and that's really it it's so simple this stuff's great it is sweat proof it's i think it's pretty much waterproof and it does last all day so it's really good i wear mine to yoga hot yoga and i sweat profusely and it's still on at the end of class so it's honestly very very highly recommended it's definitely my top it's actually probably my favorite <laughs> i'll definitely say that I will do one next week on what I use during the day and that's also another one of my favorites. It just doesn't last as long. Um, if you, if there are any other ones that you would like me to review, please leave um, any ideas down in the comments and I can do those for you girls. Also, I want to do a serum. So if there is a serum that you want to know if it does work or not, please let me know and I will get onto that this week. Thanks girls, bye.